Hey guys, got a great question from Gaines today. Gaines, so I'm gonna get in, into that in just a second. Guys, this is a massive iron channel. I'm Steve Shaw, editorial director at tigerfitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, if you have a question that you would like featured in a video like this, there's a Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into Q&A videos just like this. And if I feature your question in a video, you can receive a free copy of my book, Massive Iron, No Questions Asked. My email is below. So let's get into the question. It is from Gaines. Gaines said, I watched your video that saying that low rep sets are not required the first few years if you're looking to build strength. He said it made sense, but, but couldn't help but hear something that sparked my interest. You say in the end of the video that after a few years of training in the 5 to 10 to 12 rep range and adding reps until you hit the higher end and then add weight, if the primary goal is strength, low rep sets should be introduced. Yes, they should after a few years. Gaines is wondering, what is your stance on what should change if the primary goal is mass, muscle building? If after several years, he wants to know if your primary goal is muscle building, what should change after, once you hit those intermediate stages of your lifting career? Um, look, this is pretty simple. I recommend, number one, you need to address weaknesses. You need to address weaknesses if your goal is peer mass and maybe look at focusing on that specific area. But more than that, <clears throat> once you reach that two to three year mark and you've been making, making consistent progression and building a good amount of muscle mass, I recommend for the bodybuilder or the mass builder that they go to some form of nonlinear periodization. Now, nonlinear periodization is simply the alternating of different types of programs from week one to week two, back to week one to week two. The reason for doing this, you want to still keep a focus on progression in the five to 10 to 12 rep range during these years, but you've built a lot of strength already. So if you continue to train hard, hard and heavy, pushing for max reps on every set with this heavy weight, you're probably gonna get beat up. What I like to do is do something like this. I like to have one week that's normal volume and intensity where you're pushing sets for as many reps as possible. And then week two, you can do something like rest pause training where you restrict rest to 30 to 45 seconds between sets and it makes, you don't have to do as much volume because this is a much more physically intense way of training. And it'll leave you very, very sore. You'll probably be out of the gym in 45, 50, uh, an hour max, 45, 50 minutes, an hour max. And when you do rest pause type of training, generally you're using about 10, seven and a half, maybe 10, maybe 12 and a half percent lighter weight. So it's kind of like a working, a working, um, it, it kind of like a like a, a real hardcore deload. It's not a deload. Believe me, rest pause training builds muscle mass. It is very effective. I'm a big fan of rest pause. In fact, I dedicated a whole year in 2008 before I got into powerlifting to rest pause training, where I restricted rest between sets to 30 to 45 seconds between sets. It's a great mass builder. So. Once you get into those intermediate years, you need to do some form of nonlinear periodization. One week where you're doing normal volume and pushing those sets for progression. The next week, it has to be something where the weight is a little bit lighter, but the intensity is kicked up. And we're not talking intensity relative to one rep max, where you add in drop sets or supersets or run the rack or rest pause type of training where the weight is lighter, but you're still pushing hard and you're still pushing pro for progression just at a lighter weight. Um, it's a very hard topic to explain just in a five minute video, but that's what I recommend once you hit those intermediate stages. Cycling weight intensity will help you save some wear and tear on your body while still building mass. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, hit the Q&A link below. Post your questions up. I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. 
If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate your support. If you want to connect with the Big Hairy Ugly Dude on social media, all kinds of social links from Twitter to Instagram to Facebook, whatever, even Periscope where you can watch me live. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.